Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install the Bavarian Autosport custom fit seat covers. These covers can be used to renew your worn out seats or protect your seats from future wear. Covers are available in a nice leather look vinyl, which feels very nice and plush in both a solid color or two tone. Additionally, they're available in the neoprene in two tone or solid color. Now there are lots of different seat options and you can take a look at this in our online store at bavauto.com or call our advisors at 800-535-2002 and they can help you figure out which cover is correct for the seat option in your BMW or Mini. Now let's go ahead and get to the work and we'll see how easy this is. In order to accomplish the best installation, we suggest removing the seat from the vehicle. We're going to use the seat controls to move the seat fore and aft in order to access the seat mounting hardware. To begin, we'll move the seat fully forward and up. We can now remove the seat belt securing bolt and the rear seat rail bolts or nuts. On this X5, we'll access the bolts through the rear door. On a two-door model, we would typically tilt the seat back forward for access. This model uses 17 millimeter hex head bolts for the seat belt and the mounting rail fasteners. Some models use hex nuts or Torx head bolts. First, we'll remove the 17 millimeter hex head bolt for the seat belt. We'll now remove the two rear seat mounting rail bolts. The bolts or nuts may have plastic trim caps. Use a screwdriver or pry tool to remove the caps. This vehicle has no caps on the rear bolts. Remove the plastic trim caps if present. Remove the inner and outer forward mounting rail bolts. With the mounting hardware removed, tilt the seat to the rear. We can now disconnect the seat wiring harness plug connectors. Once the harness plugs are disconnected, the seat can be removed from the vehicle. Okay, now we have our seat out of the vehicle and up on our workbench. Now you can do this up on a bench like this, or you can do it on the floor. It's a lot easier if it's raised like this because you don't have to be crawling around on your knees so much as you're working on it. Now you can see here we have the upper section, the lower section, and the headrest. We'll be installing each of these pieces individually. Now let's move these out of the way for the moment. And you can note the condition of this seat. It's not too bad overall. This is actually out of a 300,000 mile car, for with, so with that in mind, it uh, certainly doesn't look bad. But a little bit wear, and uh, there is a hole right here. Okay, now the first thing we'll do is remove the headrest. In most instances, the headrest does just pull right off. You have to smack it to get it to release the clips and it comes off. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, this one, we already had it off, so it was already loose. But oftentimes, just hit it like this and smack it hard and the clips will come off. So we'll set this aside for now. This will be our last thing to work with. Now we found that it's easier in this particular application, and probably most, to install the upper section first. Now this is just one complete uh, unit, like a sock. So we'll slide it over the top. And the one thing we found, you do need to be careful in pulling it down. These fit so well that they're going to be fairly tight. Don't just yank it down over, work it slowly and push the bolster in to make room to uh, slide the cover on if need be. Now these flaps are going to go down in the crotch of the seat here, down through to the back side. They're going to hold this tight. 
Now additionally, when you're putting this together, pay attention. This is a four-door car, so there's no other levers or handles on the seat. If this were a two-door car, we would typically have a handle over here to be able to flip the backrest forward. So make sure you get the proper cover piece for the driver's seat or the passenger seat with the proper cutouts. All right, now that our cover is pulled down over the top, we need to push the fastening flaps down in between in the crotch of the seat here. It's tight. It's just enough to start it through and then push our fingers through until we can grab it on the back side. And right now I've got a hold of it. You can see it pull it tight a little bit there. We're going to work this flap all the way through and both of these side flaps in the same way underneath this part of the bolster. We'll put those through as well. We'll pull the center one tight first, then each of these all the way through and we'll pull them all the way on the back side and we'll show you how that works in a second. Okay, now you can see on the back side we have that one flap started through. We're just going to keep pulling it until we've got the whole thing through. Now these do need to be pulled nice and tight in order to keep the whole cover down and tight on the seat. So give this a real good pull and then we'll work these side flaps through as well. Okay, now with a bit of uh, poking and prodding, we're starting to get this side piece through. And again, don't give up. It's very tight going between the seat sections. Just keep, uh, keep working it, pushing from the top until you can feel it back underneath and pull it through. All right, now you can see we have the side flaps and the center through the seat. We pulled them nice and snug. Now to get this up here and properly Velcroed, we want it as tight as possible. So we'll just pull, get it up here, pull down on this one. Get that Velcroed and do the same thing on the sides here. Okay, now you can see the back is nice and tight. And we'll show you the front. Now we're ready to install the bottom cover piece. Now to get the bottom cover piece on, this is really why we needed to remove the seat from the vehicle in order to get this piece on nicely because we need to be reaching underneath the seat and securing straps underneath the seat. We also need to be able to get the cover behind these plastic trim covers in order for it to look proper and to have the proper place for the straps to go. So right now the next thing we're going to do is either remove or loosen these side covers. This one on the outside with the switch we're going to just totally disconnect and let it lay out of the way. The smaller one on this side we're just going to loosen so we can get the straps behind it. In looking at it there's plenty of area to push the straps through without actually removing the panel. So let's get to that now. In using the Bentley repair manual we found the fastening points on this piece here we have one screw right here. There is a tab with a rivet. Let's see if you can see here at all, right under here. And then there's another one on the back side underneath the cover right here. And those are just uh, push rivets. They pop right out with a screwdriver. Now this piece on this vehicle is actually broken. So uh, we don't even need to use the screw here. Oh, and there's one more uh, uh, rivet right here. This one is secured, so we'll go ahead and pop that out. And there you have that. Now there's the brake. This bracket here is broken. So normally we would use our Torx driver and remove this screw, but on this case there's no need. Okay, now we have this area loose. And the rivet on the back here just needs to be popped. 
There we go. And so you can see what we have here. Here's the rivet that's underneath was going right here. And this is the one going right back behind in here. So now this is free. We can push the lock and turn the lock lever on this, undo, and we can just set this whole thing aside so it's out of our way. Now we have access to pull all of our straps down and around to install the seat bottom. Now similarly, on this side here, this trim panel is tight against the seat. We're going to remove this Torx head bolt here to allow it to be pulled free a little bit. Now this panel, we don't have to fully remove. We can just pull it out like this and stick the straps through and grab them from the bottom as we go along and tuck the uh, cover down under the edge. So we're not going to physically remove the whole thing, just loosen it like this. Now we're ready to look at putting the cover on. Okay, now we have the bottom section, which also has a flap that fits down through the crotch here. Again, this is going to be tight to get through, especially with the other one there, but take your time and you'll get it through. You may need smaller hands. If you have very large hands, a helper with smaller hands might not be a bad idea. These straps are what will be used here and all the way around to secure this bottom piece. They'll be stretched under the seat and secured to the structure under the seat with clips. So the first thing we're going to do is get this flap through. And similar to what we did with the upper piece, we're going to push it through and work on grabbing it from the back side. Okay, I've got it. I'll just work on pulling it all the way through. Okay, here's our flap for the bottom piece, partially pulled through. Let's get the straps through. And work on getting this other corner through. Now, we'll just work on pulling this through pulling it over to the sides, stretching it out fully. And we're going to look at the top to see how far we've got it pulled through. See if it looks like we're adequate for now, or if we need to pull it more. Okay, that's going to be good for now. We're not going to fasten these yet. We're going to work on the front of the cushion before we fasten these rear ones. All right, now we're back to the front side of the lower cushion. It's time to be working it into position and pulling all these various straps and getting them fastened tightly. Now what I'm going to do right here on this side is take the edge and get it down underneath this plastic trim. I'm also going to take these straps, push them down under the trim and grab them from below. Now if you can't do this, then you may need to pull this trim piece off just like on this side here. But this one we can get it down in there. It's not so tight against the seat that we can't get the seam under the plastic as well as the uh, straps down behind it. Okay, this side's going to be nice and easy because there's no cover. The other one where the seat belt is, it, the strap is coming down like this behind the plastic cover. And the same with this one down behind the plastic cover. Now our switch goes right here. So we're going to want to pay attention which way we want to pull this. I'm going to suggest we pull a little bit forward like this. All right, now what we've been doing is pulling these straps, figuring out where to hook them to. We've taken the two corner ones, pulled them down tight, and all the way back and hook them on the seat frame back here with these hooks that come with the kit. The middle one, we're going to take straight back. And there's a little spot I found a hole in the frame here just under the leather. That'll keep the middle tight. 
You want to get these basically as tight as you can without removing all of the elasticity from them or they'll wear out quickly. So that front is complete. Now what I'm also going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and keep this tucked in and put this screw in to help keep this corner tight. Now that should be able to keep this corner underneath the trim as we go along. Now we also have these side ones. We've got this one and the one in the rear corresponding to the two that we have on this side. And same idea, we're going to pull them tight and cross over and work on getting them tightened up either to a piece of framework or potentially we could tie the two sides together in the middle without using one of the clips. We only have a limited number of clips. Of course, you could make your own as well if you wanted more. But uh, we may just tie these ones up to help keep them tight. We'll take a look at that, this one here and the one in the back and over here. And we'll show you what we did with them. All right, now we did some messing around and some looking and testing. And we determined that for these two side straps, the best thing would be just tie them tightly in the center so we don't use up a clip. We also found that the lower ones on this side and the other side, we wanted to make sure they went behind the gear for the seat raising and lowering. You probably can't see it on the camera, but we didn't want this to get caught in the gear, so we went behind the gear, and this side goes all the way over here, and we went to the same clip that we used for this strap, so they're both on the same clip. Same thing with the one from this side is attached to the same point as this strap. So we've got one clip here holding the upper on this side and the lower on that side, and one clip here, again, holding this strap and the one over here. And what I did is I actually clipped them into where the leather is pinned to the seat frame so they'd be a little bit more secure as opposed to the wire racking here because the pull from the other side would have pulled it off. So these are all nice and tight. All I've got left is these lower ones. And we want to pull those as tight as possible to keep the upper area tight, our seating surface. And what I'm going to do is tip the seat down, pull this nice and tight, and then see where I'm going to go with these. All right, now we've got the seat positioned upside down so it's easy to work with on these uh, straps for the lower flap. I've pulled this good and tight into both corners so that the cushion will go into the corner hinge areas and pulled it good and tight this way. So we're going to take these straps and same as we did with the other, figure out a place to affix them to. Now we've got this strap clipped again where the leather is pinned right here. And we'll do the same thing with this strap. Again, your seat may be different, most likely will be different, and you'll just have to figure out the best places to either clip or tie to to keep the straps moderately tight. As the seats break in, the covers break in, you may want to find different areas to uh, run your straps to to make them a little tighter as well. So there again, you just have that hook. So now everything is together. We'll have just some minor repositioning to do on the top. We'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here you have both pieces on. We've got them adjusted around, pulled a little bit here and there. We just have the side panel here to put on to finish this part of the installation. And it'll go on just like, the, uh, like it did coming off. Our final is the headrest. Now there's no holes here for the headrest. We have to cut the holes, and I'll show you how to do that. First, we have to put the cover on the headrest. Now if you're not changing colors and you're fine with your headrest the way it is, you don't especially have to put the headrest cover on. And this should be a tight fit just like the rest of it.
and we'll compress the headrest and pull the cover and work it around until it's nice and centered. Okay, and we have a Velcro strap here for tightening on this. Okay, and any of these creases from packaging, those will come out as the uh, cover sits on the car, on the seat. All right, now we've got the uh, seat back down so that the camera can see it while laying flat on the table. We're going to feel for where our holes are. Here's the one right here. Just going to make a very small X right on top of the hole. Find the other one. Now the headrest will simply push through those holes. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look at how this thing looks all upright. All right, so here we have the complete seat cover set done, installed. The seat is ready to go back in the vehicle. We may want to take this opportunity to replace any broken parts if our side panels are broken or our seat switches or any of the rivets uh, were broken during the procedure. This is a good time to take care of it. All of these parts are available at BavAuto.com. Remember, the seat covers themselves are at BavAuto.com or call our advisors at 800-535-2002 for personal assistance. We'll figure out what's available for your vehicle. Some vehicles have multiple different seats and it can be confusing. We know how to ask the proper questions so you get the right seat covers in the first place. If you've liked this video, please hit your like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out our Instagram page. With that, we're going to put this back in the vehicle, then we'll be on to our next video.